So in this video, we're going to start talking a little bit about schematic symbols. Now, again, as I mentioned in my last video, schematics are basically the roadmap for all HVAC and other mechanical equipment. So schemat the latter schematics are made up of a series of symbols in a specific order that shows what happens when you want the equipment to operate in certain ways, what happens when certain safety switches are open or even manual switches are open. So we do have to have a basic understanding of electrical symbols. So this is just one example of a symbol. We have a relay with a normally open and normally closed contacts. This is a common symbol that's seen in many HVAC sim schematics. Parts of this symbol can be broken up into different parts of a wiring schematic. For example, a relay coil can be wired to 24 volts to control two 120 volt loads. So we have our relay coil down here and it controls these two contacts. We have a normally open contact and we have a normally closed contact. And again, the normal position is in its de-energized position. So the basic operation is when the relay coil gets energized or voltage is applied to it, the normally open contact will close and the normally closed contact will open. So again, this is it's in its D, it's always shown in the schematic in its de-energized condition. When you power the coil or whatever the control component is, the, approach, the contacts connected to that magnetically, not electrically, will actually open and close. A red signal light is commonly found on wiring diagrams with a circuit board. It's used as a diagnostic tool on many circuit boards. The light will flash, giving a code that will help diagnose the problem in the system. So this, the signal light schematic symbol is this little circle with an R in the middle of it or whatever color the light actually is. A rollout switch is a normally closed thermal switch that will open on temperature rise. It's located near the burner assemblies for safety if the flame comes the wrong direction out of the burner tubes. A rollout switch is a normally closed open on temperature rise thermostat symbol. And that's what's over on the right. We have a normally closed thermostat symbol. See, it's closed here, or as close to closed as we could show it. It will open on rise. So if the flame comes the wrong direction out of the burner tubes, this is going to open. And you would see it labeled someplace on here with what it actually is. Because a high limit switch is basically the same symbol. It's a normally closed thermal switch that will open on temperature rise and shut the burner off until the temperature goes back down. When the temperature is low enough, the switch will close, turning the burner back on. These are installed a lot of times to prevent the heat exchanger from overheating or prevent fire. Okay, this is a fuse. It's the simplest form of circuit protection. Okay, a fuse will blow in the event of an overcurrent situation. On gas systems, these are located on the control board for low side of the system. Thermostats are found all over, not only in, in the conditioned space on a wall someplace, but they're used internally in the equipment as well. They are sometimes a safety device or an operating control. A heating thermostat will open on temperature rise. As the temperature falls in the space, this the thermostat comes back down and makes a connection turning on the system. A cooling thermostat will close on temperature rise. It's always shown in the open position. As the temperature rises in the space, the thermostat closes and makes a connection turning on the system. This is an example of a three-pole contact on a coil. So again, we have a coil. That's our control component. Okay, it's our load. This becomes energized. 
and then all three contacts close simultaneously. Three pole contactors most often are used on three phase systems. You don't see that often on gas heating unless it's a big rooftop unit. They can be wired to 208, 460, 480. The contactor coils can be powered by 24, 120, or 460 volts. You always want to look at the stamp on the side of the th coil on the side of the contactor and make sure you have the right voltage on the coil. Okay, this is a basic symbol for a fan motor. A fan is used to circulate air around and across the heat exchanger in a forced air system. Now, you will most likely be asked to draw fan motors showing the windings, and we're going to talk more about that in a future PowerPoint. A single pole switch, it's a common symbol for an everyday light switch. It can be used to symbolize a breaker sometimes as well. This is a thermal overload. It can be found on the front of a furnace near the heat exchanger in the blower compartment. This protects a unit from overheating. It's also found internally in some motors to prevent the motor from overheating. If the temperature rises, the two elements will pull apart and open the circuit. This is a double pole single throw switch. This can symbolize a two pole breaker as well opens both lines at the same time. This would be like your double breakers for stoves, dryers, and air conditioners, and some air handlers in your breaker panel. This is the basic symbol of a step-down transformer, under 20 volts to 24 volts, 240 volts to 24 volts. It's a solid core transformer. One of these sides will be your line in neutral, or L1, L2, and the other side will be your um, secondary winding, which would be a 24 volt. These are normally labeled properly and shown in the schematic to what voltage is on each side. This is a single pole double throw switch. It may be used to switch an appliance between two separately manually modes. Older units would have the switch on the side to run the blower only when the owner wants to. You'll see this in most thermostats where there's a switch for fan, on, or auto, or even it's used when we go from cooling to heating in some thermostats. Red signal light, we already talked about. It's found on circuit boards and used as a diagnostic tool. Pressure switches. Okay, a pressure switch, Not this is a dual pressure switch, but it could only have one side on it. A furnace pressure switch is a safety device located near the draft inducer motor. It will prevent operation of the furnace if correct venting air pressures are not detected. In other words, if there's no flue or, or the flue is blocked, it will prevent the furnace from operating. A pressure switch, all it does is, find, is work on the pressure differential between one space and another. It's either normally open or normally closed. This is a door switch. It's used as a safety device to shut power off to the unit if the blower door is taken off. It's located right inside the blower door. So again, these are just some basic symbols you're gonna see. As we go through the electrical for gas um, section, we're gonna find that you'll see how to apply these symbols, but you should know what they are, and that's why we spend the time to do this brief review.